Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm here with Christian and Anna. So, good evening, friends. And this is Lucas. So I announced my name as well, Christian. So there you go. Good. So tonight uh, we are supposed to be reviewing the Pit of Judgment set. Um, however, um, Anna was on the ball, but Christian and I were not. As you notice, my set is still <laughs> mint in box. I've not actually opened it yet. Um, and Christian is the same as well. So, uh, we actually will not be reviewing this entire thing. This is actually going to happen next week. So stay tuned for that. I haven't talked about this thing twice. Ugh. Oh my god. So, if you guys didn't um, hear, so last night we had TFYLP 400, uh, episode 400, and we had, uh, Duran came back for the show, but we also had uh, Aaron Archer on the show uh, as well. So, if you want to go back and, and listen to that, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but, when, when we were talking about it, we were, we were actually kind of discussing this pit of judgment and whatnot, and he was saying just how crazy it was that this thing even got made like that when he when he was at Hasbro there's no way that he could have willed this into existence like and and whatnot and and somehow Anna gets this miracle from you know up above or whatever you know and somehow is poo-pooing it saying ooh i have to talk about this for 2 weeks straight i mean look look I how amazing this thing is i talked about this thing twice that's also, so amazing. Poop. He's poop colored. Duh. I mean, you can also, and I don't know if you want to throw in a Nicey review. Have you transformed Nicey yet? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think I have yet. How do you not remember? Uh, because there's like six RCs on my desk right now from RC day. I still haven't cleared off. I've been busy before too. That is true. It's been a busy semester. However, I'm happy to get Nicey off the shelf and talk about how uncomfortable it makes me. If, if that makes everyone feel better, it's great. Tune in yeah, it even makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes it better. <laughs> it's not a bootleg, though. Yeah, that's true. Like, what? I feel like, I feel like what the crap should be only bootlegs because that is actually a really, like, strangely enough, Nicey is actually a really nice figure like as much as it makes me uncomfortable as much as it's controversial it's actually a really good quality product for whatever it is you know whatever you gotta have good quality products in every genre of product but these ladies are good quality products too so we can talk about alligator faces so i i will say faces. with this pit of judgment that i do kind of wish i had gotten to <laughs> Because I, I really just kind of want to leave it in the box. Like, the box is so nice looking. You know, it's it's tough to take it out. Yeah, and here's a... Okay, so here's a, like, pro tip from the first person to open hers. Is that you actually can't take off all this plastic crap on the inside without literally cutting tape. Because the whole thing is just covered in tape. Like, all these plastic parts are taped on. So if you wanted to save the diorama as cardboard and put it up on your shelf, you would have to cut off all that tape. And there's actually tape over some of the illustrated parts. So the idea of actually salvaging this thing is going to take some work. All right, wait, you are you saying that you would have to box. cut the tape? Yes, you would have to cut multiple oh, yeah. tapes. And you'd have to be careful not to damage the cool illustrated inner packing. Because really, I mean, this stand is like almost my favorite part of the set. So. Yeah, but you could keep the plastic part and have the place. I mean, I kind of feel like the plastic almost reinforces the cardboard, you know, that. Oh, it does. It's just not going to look nice on the shelf. So, I, so I I'm only fine. ordered, like, this is the only thing that I ordered off a of Hasbro Pulse. Like, I, yeah. for my own sanity, I no longer collect Marvel Legends. Um, I don't collect Star Wars anymore. I don't collect any of that 
stuff because I have too many Transformers as it is. So I personally only ordered that. I don't know. Did you guys order anything else with? Was that no, the only thing the, you ordered? In fact, in fact, I was busy with work and Christian ordered it for me. So oh, that was true. that was how like obscure it was. It was literally ordered from another human. You guys would have done the same me. for me. So, yeah. yeah, so I don't know how it worked as far as, like, how they're shipped. Because it seems like that they didn't all ship out at one time. I think that they started getting, like, some of them, uh, like, so we were all Pulse Premium. So we were able to order it the day before. Um, on Wednesday, yeah. On, on Wednesday. And, but I think that the, like, regular <coughs> stock of them, like, lasted through, like, the people that were pulse premium and then up until the regular on sale and then i think on the regular on sale like it sold out right away and then it went to pre-order status to where they're not shipping out some of them but i don't know as far as the ones that people ordered you know like on wednesday or whatever like if they got part of that shipment in and part of it's still shipping i i have no idea and i just want to say like i don't really know about lucas for sure but christian is like crazy quick draw when it comes to this stuff like it was probably up for half a second by the time Christian ordered both of ours, I figure. You're usually well, so fast. Thinking Lucas that. was right there with me. I, I'm not going to say that we're not pros because we didn't get the Back to the Future set whenever <laughs> that thing went up. That's true. So, well, we got it yes, last week not. and it went up again. That's all fine. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I ordered mine first, Anna, because I'm selfish. Uh, well, yeah, I, get, of I got you that did. after about a minute. And then yours was another minute and a half after that. See, he actually knows how long it took. That means <laughs> that it was, I was that. Ready. Yeah. yeah, normally we try at least to order as fast as possible. So, but uh, but anyway, I mean, I I will say just you know real quick on there. At least in the box, this thing looks amazing. Like I think that the colors and and all that. Um, so yeah, so look <laughs> forward to all of this. But I think it's probably good to split this up anyway because. Like, there are several components to this, and, I mean, we already talk long enough on everything, so it's probably yeah, good true. just to do. Now, they're going to talk about the Alicon tonight, the green, the bright green and purple version. I'm going to talk about the Bailiff, which is totally not just an Alicon with darker colors, um, and a different face, because I don't actually have the basic Alicon, because when it originally went up for pre-order, I thought, you know... I don't love that, so I'm going to wait for a repaint that I like better. And then the pick got announced, and I was like, this is perfect. It's a way for me to get the figure How? in a different scheme. How could you not it's love just, this, though? I mean, this is incredible. I don't know. It's okay. You don't like Alicons? I mean, I... Okay, let's see. I got three Alicons. <coughs> And then I actually ended up getting a fourth Alicon because Target and their Infinite Wisdom, instead of sending me an Airwave, sent me an Alicon. So I'm actually giving that one to Sean, or not giving, whatever, selling that one to Sean um, so that he can have an Alicon as well. But I, I would definitely suggest getting multiples of these. I mean, why not? Are you um, actually displaying all three? Heck yeah. Why would you okay. not? Why would you not? I mean, I guess that's fine. Sure, they're generics. I have one here from, from Target, and I've got two from Pulse that were supposed to ship today and did not. You would technically need three. two of this guy, right? Because then that scene, you there's one of him on would. either side. Yeah. I wanted to get two sets <laughs> for that reason, and uh, I was not able to. They're just hard to get. I should well, have. I, I, I should have probably went ahead and got the got the set so maybe i'll i'll get uh anna's off of her like one day no no i i'll never get rid of this one because if it reminds me of that makes me happier than the actual figure itself it? i'm more of a fan of bad 80s cartoons than i have good ones okay anyway don't worry we'll get to that later because he's not in robot mode right now let's talk about chicken mode What's chicken, chicken mode? He's like a I'm very confused as far as chicken mode. I like this dude a lot. Look at his mouth. It's got a big old mouth. It's got paint in there. You all remember a time where we wouldn't have had paint in there. Just been green mouth. Done. 
Guess who doesn't uh, have paint there? Oh, well, there you go. The time is now, apparently. Differences! Um, people criticizing the uh, the visible fists back here. Oh. They're there. You know, that that's how it is. Um, one point that I it's not the worst thing. Said. They can at least tab in to the side. They do tab in. Shake that fist so. butt. Yeah, someone can make an upgrade to have some sort of 5mm thing that covers them up. It's not that bad. You know, if you're looking at it that way, you don't know, even see it. Um, one thing I haven't heard anyone else say, and I'm curious to see if you guys feel the same, uh, this tail part is already a really large chunk of plastic. But I wish it was larger. Because mm, to me, in yeah. the movie, they looked like you know, just huge monster tails that they dragged along behind them. This guy clearly just stands and his tail is above the ground. That, maybe that's just a me thing. I don't think you could make the tail much bigger, though. Not as a deluxe, but you know, just, if really, it already no. comes off, it, we'll, we'll show it in bot mode. It comes off as a big solid chunk, so you could just make it a bigger chunk. I don't know. <clears throat> no, I totally see what you're saying. Like, 100%. Like, well, mm, I even think that. Yeah. Because alligators have giant tails, so yeah. that would be more, it would be more like, you know, this is barely a beast transformer, right? Like, it's not really much of an alligator. It is a, it is a, a hunchy man with a tail and an alligator head, but it's so fun. He's cute, though, and he does look the part, except for the tail thing, which is whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, he looks the part like he came from the movie, which is awesome. It's what you needed. We've needed an Alicon for years. There's been a couple third-party attempts that have been... <laughs> this is really I mean, good. the third-party attempts that have happened have not happened for a long time. That's true. So... But he's yeah, so cute. Well. Look at his little red eye. Mm. But, I mean, it's I think cute. the thing that I'm most impressed by this figure is, is just the amount of paint, like... I mean, the paint on the top of them, like yep. like we said before, inside the mouth, you know, the eyes and whatnot. Like, I mean, he's really well painted. There's, like, paint down there at the bottom. Um, yeah, this gunmetal paint on the, the yeah. back here to blend into the chest piece looks really good. They didn't need like, to do that. They could just left it all green, whatever, but it looks nice. I think that the, um, I think the box set version actually has less paint, but better paint. Like, it's, like, more of the, like, fun metallic paints that look all premium. Like, that little spot of purple on the top there. Yeah. It's, like, the kind of paint when you see it, you're just like, ooh, this is a premium figure. It has fancy paint. But I think it literally has less paint <clears throat> than that one. Because you said it has paint on the back, right? Yeah, on the top of the back. On, the, on yeah. just the very top. Like, what is there? It's just all in solo color. Uh, no, it's got the same paint, I think. It's probably, yeah, it looks like it would have to have the same paint. Cause it's, this... the, it's the ridge right above the 5mm port on the tail. No, there's no paint on that. It's just all it one solid to... plastic piece. It has okay. to have paint. It's like it's like one solid piece. So if it's not green, it has to have... It's... Like, is it... Oh, I guess the tail is brownish. So, yeah, I it's guess it wasn't plastic. painted. You're right. Yeah, yeah. It, it wouldn't be painted then, Christian. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not. That's fine, though. Like, it just, <clears throat> I just think it's funny that the, like, premium set version actually has less paint on it. Like, and it's not like I opened this thing and thought, you know, this doesn't have enough paint on it, poop, and threw it out the window or anything. I've never thought that. It's just funny that that version literally has more paint. Well, I mean, I think that the main thing is, is that they're doing it right. Like they're actually mm -hmm. making the figures look how they're supposed to look. So like if it needs a touch of paint to make it look right, like they're doing that. Like that's, that's what I like about it. Like, I, I don't think, like you said, looking at that, that doesn't look like it's missing paint or anything like that. It's just painted in the right spot. Not really. Other than the inside of the mouth. I'm jealous now. Yeah. Inside mouth no, I, I agree with you there that that. It's a little bit of a bummer. Does does that one have paint on his toesies? No. No. No? Okay. Ankles. Or, I guess, shins, really. He's got it. Yeah, that those parts are painted on this one, too. Yeah, and then so, I've noticed that the arm... When you have it in alligator paint. mode, like, the only thing is, is now, are the toes supposed to go this way or the other way? Because there's no, like, like there's no outward <coughs> ankle tilt if you... If you flip them the other way, 
You know what I'm saying? Um, there, the two toes go forward. Yeah, and they, they still pivot that way. Did you not spin their waist around? Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, sorry. There we go. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that makes the back actually fit better, too. Uh, that's That was my problem. <laughs> Yeah, so the one thing I definitely noticed is the difference between these guys that I didn't realize was the shoulder pads. This one has entirely different shoulder pads. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks great, too. The little mountain stack shoulder yeah. pads instead Eagle of the um, Mad Max shoulder pads. So that's cool. I actually I like that difference because it's actually somewhat meaningful. But I noticed that one place where this has paint and that one doesn't is the side spikes on the lower arms. Yep. yep. That one has on paint on it. That one doesn't. So I guess like the paints in different places and the deco is just like, it's just different enough, right? That, I don't know, like these two would like to count it as separate figures. I count it as the same because I'm not a repaint person, but hey, that's okay. I, mean, I don't know, this re there's remolding, it's a different character. I mean, it's kind of like saying that like, you know, Hoist and Trailbreaker would be like, well, that's the same character. So so. Same character for jerseys. I went to bot mode while you guys weren't looking. There, there you go. Yeah. Look at you. Hopefully, I'm gonna go to bot mode too without breaking what it. I really want to talk how, about bot mode. This is fantastic. You, you never know what will happen. Look at his fishman face. Look at that. It's fantastic. Looks like a fish. It's awesome. I love it so much. I mean, that that face really is straight from the movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it really is. It's I thought that when I saw it. I'm also really impressed by how bulky he is. He really turns into like this, you know, meaty brawler looking robot, and it's really cool. I mean, I yeah, I will uh, say the only the only thing I think that really that I can really say that. Uh, about this figure that's kind of a disappointment is is the arms like the fact that there's you know they're just kind of hanging out there but at the same time like i feel like that the figure it's like big enough that it really kind of hides it a little bit and like i don't know i mean there's been more egregious figures than than what this has been oh, there's been much more and the thing is is like i know anna you would love the fact that this actually has uh you know wrist swivel so i know that you've been complaining that that a lot of other figures don't, so this does have wrist swivel because of it, so. Yeah, it does have wrist swivel, and you'll notice that one of the biggest difference is that this has an entirely different head. Instead really of having head. the fish man face, it has the pig face that, to me, looks just like Ganon from the Legend of Zelda cartoon from the 80s, which Peter has told me is actually newer than the Transformers movie. So technically they copied from this. Probably not actually true. I think it looks just like it. Check out the picture I shared today. I'm totally right. And that makes me love this figure forever. Like, I would totally be like, eh, this is okay. It's from an obscure scene of the movie. I'm not that concerned about it. Now I'm excited because that was such a horrible depiction of a classic character. I love it. Wait, that was a pivotal scene in the movie. What? I don't know what you're saying. That... I mean, it was. It's not like these guys were big chatty guys. It's not they, like this is Galvatron. I think, weren't they also in season three as well, too? Or or no? I don't know if these guys showed up in season three. I know quintessence do. For some reason, I thought it did. But maybe, I don't know. Correct me if I'm That's wrong. That's a Peter question. I haven't seen season three in, gosh, nine years? Really? Oof. I need to rewatch season three because it's my favorite. Yeah, they're uh, in, in the chat. They're they're very offended by you calling it an obscure oh, scene. Oh, whatever. So. so this scene isn't obscure, but this guy's obscure. You know how many times I had to watch that scene today to check the colors? I had to watch it like four times because this guy shows up in like frames. Yeah, Anna and, like Anna and I were arguing about the coloring of the figure earlier today because that was your big complaint. And and I agree. Like I do think it's probably more of a grayish than a copper color, uh, you know, is like what it is. So, but I mean, I, I feel like we're splitting hairs here. 
Well, speaking of splitting hairs, Randall has looked up the dates of when the Zelda cartoon came out. Uh, so technically, uh, the Zelda cartoon did come out first. So important. No one else is going to see that similarity except for me. But my friend who's a big Zelda fan and a big Transformers fan, he saw the similarity when I showed it to him. But at so any Ron- one. Ron was mentioning about Cup, how he's getting the little Energon Goody accessory. But yeah, doesn't funny. that totally look like a little vaping thing? Yes. <laughs> people were... I, I saw people talking about that, like, online or whatever on social media. And I was like, oh, man, it totally looks like it. So for for those people that want the cigar accessory, I guess they can pretend that the Energon pack is a, is a vape Welcome to thing. the modern age, Cup. Cup is a smoker legacy. Perfect. Just what we needed at our Transformers. No, that version of Cup doesn't need a cigar. He does not because he's jolly and adorable. He does need a cute little face. man. The fix me face is nice, but I need something else. Oh yeah, I definitely need something else. So you can pull out part of his tail and turn it into a slashy slasher. Uh, that's interesting. I feel like I'm breaking it when I pull that part of the tail out. Me too. I didn't know it was supposed to come out. Yes. And then I, I saw Lucas's and pulled it out. Yeah, it's a slushy, uh, mine doesn't option. fit super well in the hands. How about you guys? Mine does. Uh, mine seemed like it was fine. Mine totally cannot fit in the right hand, like at all. Oh, uh, l- let me try in the because I will say it's a little bit loose in the right hand. I, I think it's the left hand. It fits fine. So it's a little loose in the right hand. I think the the right hand is a little bit bigger. It comes with this awesome spear, which, you know, they came with. It's got a little bit of paint on it, which is nice on the tip. I don't think so, Randall. I think those designs were pretty different. I don't know. I'd have to look at instruction manual again and again. We're still talking about Ganon. Don't mind us. I don't even know what that is. For Zelda. He's the bad guy from the Zelda series. Oh, Okay. Sure. Look at the picture I posted. I posted a picture of weird 80s cartoon Ganon, and his face is very similar to this. Okay. To this toy. Great. I'm having fun, Christian. Good. I'm glad. I'm happy with my Fishman Alicon, dude. I love him a lot. I can pretend he's another video game reference, even though he's not. But I think, again, the fact that, like, you know, these are $20... Instead of whatever right. crazy price third party whatever is going for, you can actually troop build these yeah. a little bit. So Yep. You can. So the the weapon y thingy actually like it stores on his back like Christian was showing me earlier, but you actually take it apart and you can put it together through his hand so it's a big staff instead of two separate things, or it can be a mace and an axe. I think it's cool because he that actually has a looks like know, a really cool weapons. accessory, honestly. I like that a lot. I like it. Our, yeah. Ours, just the normal Alicon, is narrow enough that it just goes into the hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the take apart accessory. It's cool. Yeah. I usually like how he's armed. Because this, this is, like you said, he's a beefy little gladiator man. He feels like he should be really armed. Oh, yeah. So having two to three weapons is nice for him. I usually don't actually display my figures with weapons, but look at this guy. He wants to hit people. He desperately needs to hit people. Gus. Yep. Yeah, they're cool. A- they're, they look, you know, the, they're like bestial. They're kind of primitive. You know, the Sharktacons are that way too. Uh, the Alicons are, are that way. And I think this really fits that design. And like Lucas said, they're cheap enough that you can tree build a couple of them. And I think you'll all be very happy if you do. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely a nice design. And it, it does look just like the screen model, right? Like, it really does capture it well. The transformation is literally you turn his waist around, flip out the head, and peg the arms into the side so his little arms come out. It, that's not great, you know? It's not perfect, but whatever. It, it pulls up the robot mode really well, and the alligator face is super fun. I'm, I was trying to a red one. 
I, you know, I'm kind of curious with this wave, like if they like didn't actually pay designers to <laughs> to design transformers. Because I mean, again, we haven't talked about the judge yet. I mean, this is the regular one, right? But like, this doesn't really have a transformation. Like, it's not a real thing. So it's what are you talking about? This alt mode I got laying on my desk here. This thing it's is like, it's, oh this boy, is straight brilliant. Douche. It looks like an ice cream cone. That's my ice cream cone. My ice cream to, cone at the landing pad. I'm trying to figure mm. out like when it actually goes into like whatever the mode you had. What like what are you supposed to do with this thing on like on oh, top? Oh, just you just throw it on top. It's the lid. Yeah, but then it doesn't like stay. It's stupid. Well, you put the mushroom stander on it, so there's the little the little mushroom stander thruster. From the bottom of them, you mm -hmm. turn that upside down and stick it in there, so it turns into a mushroom. And then you just whoop, and ta-da! If you want it to stay tight, you can open two of their mouths and kind of balance it on the mouthies, on their chins. See? Like that's nice and good. Yeah, in there. but I'm saying it just kind of hangs out. Like that's what I'm saying is, is like it's. Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought they could have done that. It's better. relatively tight if it's balanced on two of their faces. Relatively. Weird. Okay, sure. You know, ice cream cone shakes a little. Hey, I'm not defending that thing. It's not a transformer. But I mean, the one thing I'll say is, is it got made, and like that's the thing I think is cool about it is, is the fact that we actually have this in physical form, and it looks really nice. So yeah, it's been what, 16 years since the last one. So whether or not it's around. Well, and what's funny is, is we got one in Cyberverse too. Like, who would have thought the craziness that we would actually have two in the same year? Right. We talked about that earlier in the year where, you know, I thought I was crazy for passing on a Quint. I mean, in what world are you ever going to pass on a Quintesson? Because you don't get them. They don't come around. Right. But then we were like, oh, the rumors of the Earthrise one is coming. Oh, it's going to be good, but we haven't seen it. Should I just pick up the Cyberverse one? No, because I don't really like that one. The other one's going to be better. Glad I waited. But I'm actually still waiting, so. See, I kind of want the Cyberverse one so I can have two so they can hang out. Like, I know that technically in the movie and in the, in the show, they were all basically the same exact thing, just copy, copy and paste it over and over. But I would prefer if I'm going to have two members of the same race that they look different. I think that's so it'd be kind of cool. They can hang out and chat with many different faces. Yeah, like you said, it's not accurate, but it seems fun. Yeah, Ron, when I was transforming mine, my judgy medoodle thingy, I definitely felt like the um, connection ports for the faces to connect on the side as I was pulling that. I felt like it was hard to do, but also it would be very easy to break them. Because the plastic on the inside of the um, pole area is a little, it feels just a little fragile. Like it doesn't, when I touch it now, it doesn't feel fragile. But it felt like I was going to break it, so I was a little worried. It, it was break. really They're hard. Yeah. I, I had a hard time post, like putting the face, or w actually both of the faces on. Um, I think Pia on his review kind of talked about it a little bit, like as far as. You know, you have to kind of like clip it in a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain now that it's done. But... Look at that pig face, people. Look at that pig face. Nice. So Ganon y. So adorable. It's great. Yeah, did you? At some point. Yeah, the Quint Judge, I think Anna uh, was fully assembled, right? Like for your set? Yeah, like, yeah. When we when set, we got it, really like simple. if you if you opened up the like the mainline one, you actually have to attach two of the faces, and it was a pain in the neck. Can I? I, I know that we're gonna talk about the pit next week, but why does it come with a gun? Uh, why not? Okay, cool. Well, because everyone really needs a way to hold a gun, does it? Everyone, everyone needs weapons. Yeah, you can put it in the tentacle. Does it, do the tentacles have gun holder power? Yeah. Oh, well, perfect. They have little, little clips it. down here, so you can put the gun. Well, cool. This thing's going to stand there, menacingly holding a tiny gun in one of its tentacles with its 15 faces and rotating powers. It's going to be great. 
Sorry, I'm very excited about the weirdness. Like, I love the weirdness of this stuff. Like, this whole set that we'll talk about next week is full of weirdness. And I enjoy it. This guy is, you know, weird because he's an alligator man. Um, and because I think he looks like Gannon, and so that makes him extra weird. And then the, the jaw is just super weird because it's a face rotating pillar. But yeah, I mean, I think for the price point on the Alicons, like I definitely would, you know, recommend it just based on the paint and the chunkiness and, and all that type of thing. So again, it's not the like most amazing transformation in the world, but you know, whatever it is a transformation. It looks good. Yeah. If I were, if I had not bought the pet and these guys were going over it and, you know, we were back in pre pandemic times, so I could have played with Lucas's version of it. I probably would have gone and bought it after I played with it. So it'd have been like, Oh, this is cool. He's a little angry gladiator, man. I want one. So I think that that actually would have convinced me to just buy the Alicon by itself, even though I passed it the first time. He's cute. No, I don't need it. This is enough. Go go grab him. Go grab a couple if you can find them. If Wave 2 actually ever shows up at the stores. Right. So I I managed, like, again, to get pretty much all of the figures uh, from that Target sale. Like, they somehow shipped the online stuff. Um, and then I think that some of the figures have been showing up on Amazon. Like I was able to get airwave from Amazon, but like, I think some of the other ones were, you know, still delayed on on Amazon. And then apparently Walmart is just selling people essential oils instead of transformers. So which that's one way to do it. Yeah. That's exciting. You could, I, I need some essential oils. Out. I think Alicons are still in stock on Pulse. Uh, they were due to ship today, so I imagine they'll ship, you know, into the week or so. I just have it in my notes that they were shipping ten six. Yeah, so I guess it, it, Ron said he got his pre-orders from Amazon. So, yeah, I mean, I think obviously it's like one of those things where I feel like the stock is kind of trickling in for like all of this stuff. Like, instead of it just being a huge, like, here it is, it's just kind of a trickle from, like, everyone. Um, yep. But I know it's caused some issues that, uh, like, I don't think, like, Entertainment Earth and some of those suppliers, I don't think, have, like, gotten their stuff in, so. And I would grab an Alicon if you need one, just because I don't see it as a thing that'll shelf warm. Because it's a, it's a rare enough produced character or unit that people will want it and it's not actually bad so therefore i think it will very much be a, an easy seller the contessa and the judge i i do wonder if that one might become a shelf warmer just because it isn't it isn't much of a transformer so that one i could see shelf warming possibly i mean i do think i mean it's from the movie but i, I still feel like it's right. kind of like a relatively obscure thing like people like us you know, want it, but I think a lot of people probably are just like, ah, whatever. But yeah, like I would say also with the Alicons, there's probably a lot of people troop building them. Like again, like I had mentioned before that I've got three, I'm sure, I don't know how many Rick ended up ordering, but I'm sure he got a fair amount. So, but all the figures people mentioned, I don't have my desk anymore. Like the RC that Randall just mentioned. Yeah. Smokescreen. Do we, do you guys have smokescreen? I do not. You do, yeah. So, so did Ron need a size comparison? Oh no, he just was mentioning about the fact that he got it. So, oh, Here's the only deluxe I have. Oh my god, Christian! Whoa! <laughs> We're like size comparison. Rotor storm is here. Rotor storm. We need pink t- fist. That was that was pretty cute. It was. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I guess you can do. You'll do one with like. Here's the size Proud. comparison that'll help no one. Ta da! Oh, jeez. guy! Yeah, go, go grab so, these guys. They're fun. But, but I will say, these guys, like, even though they're a little bit shorter, like, it's a solid chunk of plastic. Like, there's, oh, there's yeah. a fair amount of plastic in there, so. And they're, they're short dudes to begin with. They're, you know. 
be right, you're you're meant to be short. short. That's fine. Right, right. I really don't so. have legit complaints about this guy. You know, the exposed, the exposed arms in either mode. Bummer. I wish they weren't, but whatever. It's not that bad. Especially but, in robot mode, it's not that bad. And I like the robot mode better. I mean, I think, Anna, like, if the other option was is that it would have been a solid fist that flipped into a hollow arm and then it would have been hollow, you probably would have been more annoyed with that than what the That's choice true. they went with. Yeah. So I think that based on that choice... Mode and what I'm, right. what I'm I, probably going to do, fine. in all honesty, is just ignore the little arms. And when I put them back in alligator mode, I'm probably just going to give them his normal man hands and flip them around. <laughs> You'll have to show us how that looks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be amazing. I think I just, I just see that as much better. <laughs> uh, I always make these weird, like, hybrid animal people when it comes to the monster alt modes. Because it's fun. <laughs> but that's what toys are about. They're about fun. Yay. Mm. The end. That's true. There you go. All right, well, I don't know if we really have anything else to say. Go get them if you can find them. Yeah, um, and look forward to hearing more about this version next time on Microcasters. There you go, next week. Where Christian and I will actually potentially open up our sets. And I have Let's to come see. up with another weird joke no one gets for the advertisement. You know how much work Sorry. you guys are putting on me? Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, at least your weird advertisement was pertain to the figure we ended up doing so yeah it's true well i've i've got plans i'm already thinking of weird ads i'm i'm thinking like is there a jaws cover i could parody or something because hmm. the pit's full of water right true. and the shark are calling there, and yeah. There yeah and there's a man for it to eat there's just this this man he can he can be lunch i think it'll be fun He's been in everyone's mouth since I opened the set. He's just gone from mouth to mouth to mouth. I'm really gross. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Are you, though? No. Not even slightly. If you look at the picture I posted today, he was actually between two different shark cubs' mouths. Me and Eden. Like, they were pulling on him because they were hungry. Get it? It's a horrible murder scene. You're welcome. There you go. All right. So, again, TFLP 400 was last night. So, if you want to check that out, it was a lot of fun. It's fun to have Deron back on. It was fun to have Aaron with us as well. Uh, cool. So, if, if you want to check that out. Um, and then uh, cut the tape on Friday. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you oh, want to continue oh, the conversation, uh, if you, uh, join us on Discord. Uh, the link should be on our Twitter page. So. Book club. I started book club. Oh, week. book club. Did we? Oh, there's yeah. a book club? All right, yeah, Anna, so I started what, on what's Discord. the book club? Tell us. If you join our Discord server, we're going to start a book club. We're going to, every week, we're going to reread, starting at the beginning of the More Than Meets the Eye IDW comics with the first trade paperback in that series. We're going to start by all reading that, and then on Sunday, through the day, if you want to post on Discord in the chat page for the book club, you can talk all day about it on Sunday. And then Sunday night at 8.30 Central, we're going to just have a short live vocal conversation on Discord. So anybody who wants to can jump in the voice chat, and we'll just treat it like you would a book club. We'll just hang out, talk about what we read. Talk about what we liked, what we didn't like. I'll complain about how it's everyone's favorite book series, but I don't like it as much. And it'll be good times. And I can talk about how I really like the art. Because I do really like the art. And it'll it'll be a lot of fun. So I think that if you're not participating in that and you want an excuse to either reread the IDW comics that everybody loves or you want to read them for the first time, it's a good excuse. You do it for friends, and it counts vaguely as social interaction during the pandemic. It's a little fun. True. Yay. You should make a post about it, too, on the Facebook page. Just I should. Why don't you do it? <laughs> I posted on Discord. It's a lot of effort. I mean, for those people that aren't on the Discord, I guess. So... 
you know, I don't know. I guess we could also start a Facebook thread as well for the people that we are could. on Discord. But so. spreading it out too much might be an error. We'll talk about it. But I don't Randall, know. I'm already confused. I made it to, like, page four, and I'm already confused. They reference right. all these things that never happened. How I'm like, great. I don't, know, I don't know what you're even I'm, talking about. Well, that's what book club is for. Figure it all out. That happened before. Yeah. So okay. So book club will all gonna have to explain stuff to Anna, I guess, because apparently, even though they explain things on the wiki, it's not enough. So how do I look at the wiki? Use the wiki. It's so good. It's so helpful for more <laughs> FBI. Right. Blah. I'll just guess. I'll follow the likes. My own fan fiction. Uh, okay, sure. Oh, or you could do that, I guess. So No, it'll be I fun, don't. everyone. You should come because it'll be it's gonna be very low key and there you probably go. very silly. We'll probably discuss the first three pages before we get distracted. That that sounds amazing. So Yeah, fine. Alright. Alright. So I guess that's it. Uh so thank you everyone and <laughs> Thanks. We will we'll see, you see you next week. See you later.